quickly look at these two examples under subtraction. Now, if you look at this, we have 12 minus 3 in mode 5. How do we do that? 12 minus 3 in mode 5. 12 minus 3 is going to give me what? 9. But that 9 is not going to be my final answer because I'm working in mode 5. So I'm going to now say, how can I simplify this 9? I have 4 plus 5. What would I have to 5? That will give me 9. That's 4 plus 5. Do you get that? Though? So that means that 4, or you say 5 plus 4, this 4 is what is your remainder. Or you say how many times can 5 go in 9? 1, remainder 4. So that means your answer is 4 in mode 5. Do you understand that? Now the next one. I have 11 minus 24. What is 11 minus 24? If you want to solve that, you tell me, I'm, I have 11, I'm owing 24. If I pay 11, I'll be owing what? 13. So this is what? Negative 13. Now, I'm solving this in mode what? 7. In mode 7, you now ask yourself that how can I change this to, how can I simplify minus 13 in mode 7? Now, don't forget that this minus 13 is same thing as minus 2 times 7. Minus 2 times 7 will give me what? Minus 14. And you will now ask yourself, what number will I add to this to give me minus 13? So that means that we had 1. Because minus 14 plus 1 is what? Minus 13. So therefore, my answer is going to be 1 in mode 7. So that is the final answer to that. Any question, please, feel free to ask me.